Do you have the long torso, short legs body type? What does it mean to have long torso versus short torso? This is a pretty common question, but a lot of us do not know the answer. Or there are so many different ways that people look at it, it's very easily confusing. In today's video, I will walk you through how do you know if you have long torso, short legs, which celebrities have long torso and short legs, and if you do have long torso, short legs, how should you dress? My name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Petite Dressing. If you are new to my channel, every week I upload new videos. I talk about how to dress for your body type, how to style if you are petite. I welcome your comments. After you watch this video, leave me a comment below. You can also find me on my Facebook group, Petite Fashionista. Now let's get started. What does it mean to have long torso versus short torso? And how do you know if you have the long torso, short legs body type? First, I want to say long torso and short legs body type is pretty common. And it could be someone who is 5 foot 7 or someone who is 5 foot 2. For example, I am 5 foot 2 and I have long torso, short legs. A lot of taller women also have long torso, short legs. Could be women of any other, any body type, but it's especially more common with women who have the pear shape. And that's probably because the pear shaped ladies have thicker thighs. If you're not sure whether or not your torso is long or short, here is two simple ways that you can find out. The first, the most accurate way is to measure. And what you need, you need is a measuring tape, of course, and the best way to do this is to, through the help of a friend or a family member or anyone that can help you do the measurements. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is measure from the two distance. The first distance is to measure from the top of your head to your crotch. That's distance one. And then the distance two is to measure from your crotch to your feet. And you need to make sure you're not wearing any heels. And the, to get the best, most accurate result, it's better that you are standing barefoot. That's the, me the method number one. When you have the measurements of the two numbers, then you can compare. Typically, women's legs are 45% of her overall height. The torso is around 55% of her height. In my case, my torso is about 56%. If your legs are over 48% of your overall height, that means you have long legs and short torso. Between 46 or 47%, your legs are still longer than average. In my case, my legs are about 44% of my overall height. That's how I know I have long torso and short legs. Now, what if you don't have measurement tape in hand? Or if you don't have anyone to help you do the measurements? So here's a, an easier way that you can just do right now at your home. What you can do is to put one hand right under your breasts and then put the second hand right under your first hand. What do you see is the distance between your belly button and your second hand? Is your belly button right under your second hand or is there quite a gap? In my case, I noticed about over an inch or an inch and a half distance between my hand, my second hand and my belly button. If there's over one inch of distance between your second hand and your belly button, that probably means you have long torso and short legs. This is an easy and quick way for you to figure out whether or not your torso is long or short. So now that you have the results, you know if you have the long torso or short legs body type. Which famous people have long torso and short legs? It's pretty common body type. Some of the famous celebrities with long torso and short legs are Kira Knightley. She is five foot seven. 
Olivia Wilde, she is also 5 foot 7. Rachel Bilson, she is 5 foot 2. So as you can see, regardless of your height, you could have long torso and short leg body type. What is the best way to dress if you have long torso and short legs? Several ways to balance out your long torso. First, in general, one piece works better than separates for women with long torso and short legs. The reason is, when you wear one piece, I'm talking about dresses, rompers, or jumpsuits. When you wear one piece, then it's harder to notice where your torso separates with your legs. That's why the long torso and short legs will be less noticeable when you're wearing one piece. And second, in terms of the bottoms, generally speaking, skirts are more flattering for you than shorts. Because when you're wearing skirts, you can't really tell how long your legs are. But when you're wearing shorts, it's pretty clear where your leg starts. That doesn't mean you should stop wearing shorts altogether. I still wear shorts in the summer because it's convenient. And there are some times that you just don't feel like wearing skirts and want to wear shorts. That's totally fine. If you want to wear shorts, you can go with a high-waisted shorts. One of the very popular styles in recent years is a paperback shorts. Those have very high waist. That kind of design is perfect for someone with a long torso and short legs because that will visually make your, your torso look shorter and make your legs look longer. And number three, if you have long torso and short legs, you want to avoid high contrast of your top and the bottom. Monochrome dressing looks better on someone who has long torso because if you are wearing the same color from head to toe or you're wearing colors from the same color scheme for your tops and bottom, that will make the length of your legs less noticeable. So people will not easily notice that you have long torso. Number four, make sure the color of your pants match the color of your shoes. That is the most easy way to elongate your legs and create the illusion of longer legs. And by lengthening your legs, that will balance out your natural shape. And number five, high-waisted everything. High-waisted buttons are my personal go-to. I literally live in high-waisted jeans, high-waisted pants when the weather is cold. And in the summer, I wear high-waisted skirts most of the time. And the rest of the time, I wear, I'm wearing one piece. So if you're wearing separates, you need to make sure your bottom has a high waist design. And that way, it'll visually make your waistline look higher than your natural waistline. That will reduce the length of your torso and make your torso look shorter and your legs look longer. Another way to shorten your torso is to wear a cropped length top. When you're wearing a cropped top, the eyes will assume the length of the top is the length of the torso. So the crop top is shorter than your torso and that will create the illusion of a shorter torso. That works quite well for women with long torso and short legs. Another great way to make your torso appear shorter is by tucking in your shirt. This works every time as you can see in the picture on the left. The picture on the right is another outfit of Kara. She's wearing a long top and cropped leg pants. That's exactly what you should avoid. I highly recommend my other video on how to make your legs look longer. Watch this video and let me know what you think.